And with just a few days to go before the elections, here are five things you need to know about the upcoming polls. Let's watch this. The Philippines is among Asia's oldest democracies and it's scheduled to hold elections on May 9. Elections here can be colorful, loud, and high stakes. Here are five things you need to know about the Philippines election. There are over 65 million voters who will cast their paper ballots, which will be counted electronically. That's a record number of voters, and most of them are young. They will fill in around 18,000 government positions, including president and vice president, who are elected separately and will serve for six years. The son of the late dictator, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., is leading the race to be next president according to surveys. He is running on a platform of unity and pandemic recovery. His closest rival is opposition leader and Vice President Lenny Robredo, who is promising clean government and inclusive growth. Marcos is running in tandem with President Rodrigo Duterte's daughter, Sara, who is aspiring to be the next vice president. A lot of them use these colorful campaign posters, while others spend on radio and TV ads. Others still mount massive rallies for their supporters. However, one thing to watch out for this election is the impact of social media on voter preferences. Filipinos are particularly susceptible to fake news and disinformation because they are among the heaviest users of social media like Facebook and YouTube in the region. Unlike other countries which has one of votes or electoral colleges, winning elections here in the Philippines is pretty straightforward. You just have to get the most number of votes. Candidates will do everything in their power to do just that, from buying votes to resorting to violence. In some local races where there may be a tie vote, they settle it, believe it or not, by a coin toss. Leader will have to tackle how to bring the Philippines economic output back to pre pandemic levels. Ballooning debt, high unemployment, and poverty are also issues he or she must contend with. The next leader will also have to navigate the Philippines' relationship with China and the US.